In this quick lesson, I'm going to talk to you about this general tab in the bitmap and image tools of the Design Center. So down here we have these options to insert an image. We can load, paste or convert an image. So the first thing we'll do is we'll load an image by clicking that button and selecting something like this van here and clicking open. And then we simply just paste that into our window like so. And over here on the right hand side we've got quite a bit of information about this image. We can see its size in pixels, units, its resolution, uh, its format, how much memory it's using and whether it's got a mask or not. So we've got some good useful information there. Now we can also paste an image. Now I've just done a screenshot of this actual screen and as you can see I can do a screenshot and just paste it in. Anything on the clipboard will paste. Another thing that we can uh, convert an image as well. There's no point converting an image if it's already an image. We'd just resample it if we wanted to. So I'm just going to type in some very basic type of sign that we'd stick on this uh, on this uh, van here that we may want to email to a customer. So what we do is we convert the whole thing to an image and we click convert to. Uh, we've obviously got all these options here. You can watch the uh, separate video for this module. But simply just click OK and now we have this image that we could email to somebody for example. OK, so that's how we uh, convert an image. The next thing I'll talk about is these options down here where we can edit the image. So we can blur, crop, resample or edit the pixels as we can see here. So to show you the blur I'll go to this image here and when I zoom in you can see this image here has some like jagged edges. We might want to get rid of these so we click on blur. Again it has its own lesson so you can watch this independently. But for example I'd set this to say one pixel and apply and you can see how it gives it a slight blur so that when I look at this image now I don't have those jagged effects anymore. So that's what that blur function does. As I say there's a lesson on that you can watch that separately. Now if I wanted to crop this image, if I didn't want all this extra green area here I could click crop, simply slide down these uh, sliders here, these borders and uh, click accept and it crops the image as you can see there. And again that has its own lesson and you can watch that. Now resample, this actually, this, this van here with the signs is a good example of this. If this was too big at the moment it's uh, taking up 10 meg on the, on the disk. We could set this to say half size. So we just simply select say 50%, click accept. We can see that it's now only 0.85 of a meg. And once we've accepted that we've now resampled that image. So that's what resample does. Now if we click on edit pixels here that would bring up Windows Paint and we could actually edit the pixels of this image as well and when we exit out of Paint it would be loaded back into the program. So that's how those tools work and that's the end of this lesson. Thank you.